Hi, my name is Todd Berzer with Keyvolve Product Management. This is Product Management 101 and our lecture on strategy development. Throughout this course, we've been talking about the work of product management across four different areas. So market intelligence, which we just talked through. So market, customer, competitive analysis, strategy, strategy development, new product development, and lifecycle management. And in this lecture, we're going to look at strategy development, and in particular, we're going to dig into a few different elements. So first of all, what is a strategy? And what is product manager's role in creating a strategy? We're going to look at the five elements of a strategy. We're going to talk about pulling it all together, kind of strategic integration, and strategy development in the context of a product manager's work, so in the larger context of a product manager's work. So let's start with strategy development and what is a strategy? So we're going to use some work here by Professor Hambrick and Fredrickson. And they talk about a strategy being a central, integrated, externally oriented concept of how a business will achieve its objectives. So if its objectives are to grow 15% next year and over the next two or three years and gain a certain market share percent, how are they going to do it? Strategy defines that. And what is a product manager, if we're, if we're all product managers, what is our role in creating a strategy? Well, typically there is a mission and objective that, a, that comes down from your, your corporate executive management or a corporate strategy group. So there's a mission for the company that you're part of, and there are objectives that are defined typically yearly. And that's probably given to you. And then there's a strategy that's built off those mission and objectives. And there could be a corporate strategy that the corporate group uh, develops um, or a strategy group develops or the executive team. That work is typically supported by product management. So a lot of the things we talked about under market intelligence, so market, customer, competitive analysis, all of those areas, everything that you've learned in that, you know, all of the analysis that you've done is strongly supports the development of strategy. So that can be a corporate level or a business unit level. And product management, uh, the analysis that you guys do, is typically very critical to development of that strategy. And then there's a product group strategy. And this is typically led by product management. Now, you could also think there might be a product strategy as well. But I think, and, and sometimes there's questions about, as a product manager, where do I develop a strategy? And you could think about, let me, let's go back to our other example of, of steel case chairs, so office chairs that we talked about earlier. Now they came out with the gesture chair. The gesture chair you know, has multiple colors. It's got a few different backrests. Should you develop a strategy around the steel case gesture chair? I kind of think not. I think rather steel case would be better off if they developed a strategy around their office chair group. And, I, and that's probably what I'd recommend, that you develop a strategy around a product group that's large enough to kind of go through and make sense to do the steps that we're going to talk about in a minute. The term strategy is used very loosely. Uh, it, you know, people talk about strategy everything. So we're going to try to be a little more defined when we, when we speak about strategy. And in particular, we're going to talk about five elements of strategy. And this, again, came out of Hamburg and Fredrickson, Fredrickson's work. It came from a 2005 article. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the information for that later. Uh, this is a good one to look up. The five elements of strategy, we start with arenas. So, I mean, I'm an American, I think about basketball, basketball teams play in arenas. Um, and it's the, same, it's the same for you. Your company, your corporation, where are you playing? Where are you being active? That's your arena. The vehicles, so how will you get there? How will you get to your objectives? The differentiators, what's gonna, what's gonna allow you to win? What makes you better than your competitors? Economic logic, how will you make money? And staging and pacing, so what is the timing, speed, and sequence of the market moves that you're going to make. That's the five elements of the strategy. As you're developing your strategy for your product group, you can think about all of these different elements. And let's talk about them in a little more depth. So arenas. So this is your top priority market segments. This is your geographies. This is your core technologies. So let's say, for an example, that you're developing uh, the next generation DNA sequencers as part of your, the, the, you're the product manager for that. So if you're the product manager for that, you need to decide what market segments you're going after. Are you going after the academic research market? Are you going after the medical market? 
What market segments? What geographies? Are you going to be focusing on developed countries worldwide, so Japan, Western Europe, US, or are you going to be working more towards expanding your presence in emerging markets like Brazil or India or China? And then core technologies. So out of this broad set of DNA sequencing technologies, what is your core technology? Which ones are the ones that you're going to focus on as a company and a product group? That's arenas. The next step is to think about vehicles. So how do we, if you define the area that you want to compete in, the arenas, how will you acquire the capabilities to, be, to effectively compete in that area? Are you going to, again, let's think about this next generation sequencing machine. Are you going to develop that on your own? Are you going to work with your R&D team to do that? Are you going to acquire that for maybe a small company has developed a technology that you want to buy? Or maybe you just want to partner with another company to bring that to market. How will you get the capabilities to compete? That's the vehicles. Then we go to differentiators. Differentiators is really should be an outgrowth of your arenas and your vehicles should be intimately linked. It's the creation of value versus your competitors. So what are your core competitive differentiators? And, and how, how will you have competitive advantage versus all the other companies out there? And then we go to staging and pacing. So what's the sequence, the timing of your moves, your major moves? And you know you think about building a house. So you don't start off with um, building the roof. You start off with building a foundation, and maybe the frame, and then the roof, and then the interior. You've got to do it in a certain order if you want to if if you want to have a successful end. And that's the same with corporate strategy. You need to decide what you're going to do in the first half of next year, second half of next year, the following year, etc. And then economic logic. Where will you generate your profits? Is it are you making margin off the products that you sell? Are you making margin off the supplies that you sell with the product or maybe the services that go along with the product? So you need to think about your economic logic. Where are you generating your near-term and long-term profits? That's the five elements of a strategy. So if you're working through a strategy on a product group, it's important to think about all of these areas and, and really kind of think them through. And in addition, you need to think through how all of those areas work together. So this is the real art and brain work of strategy development. Think about your arenas, your vehicles, your differentiators. How does one support the other? How, do they, how are they consistent and reinforcing? How do they, your choices of your market segments and your, your geographies and your technologies and your vehicles, how do they lead to competitive differentiation? How do they lead to your long-term profitability? That's strategy integration. Now, I want to put this in context a bit. So we talked about mission and objectives kind of comes before strategy. The, the work that you've done on market intelligence as a product manager, so the, the customer, the competitive and the market analysis that you've done, that's a critical element, a critical understanding that will flow into the development of a strategy. It's, it's kind of a foundational point. We haven't talked about the next one, technology assessment, but if you're in a technology um, heavy industry, uh, it's important to have to work with your R&D teams to develop an assessment of where you guys are at in terms of your technology, what's your patent position, what's your competitor patent position, where is the technology headed, so that you have a full understanding of your technology, you know, where you sit with technology. Then you move into strategy development if we, as we've talked, and the outcome of that strategy development, then it moves to that that is an element that guides other product management work or your, the rest of your product management work. So road mapping, deciding that your, your future road map, your future generations of products and services. New product development, so you know, which is an outcome of your road map. Growth plan, so strategy is going to define what you're doing in the market. Where are you going to put your programs? Where are you going to put your emphasis? Where are you going to find growth? What target customer segments? Pricing, so strategy clearly, clearly helps guide pricing. Sales channels. So, are you, you know, if you're moving into a new geography, are you going to go to sell direct? Or are you going to go through channel partners? And obsolescence. Maybe your strategy defines that you want to get out of a market, and it might lead to obsolescence of some of your products. So, this is really strategy. Strategy come, becomes a central point of the product management uh, team's work. All right. So, let's review the concepts of this lecture. So, we talked about strategy. That strategy is a central integrated approach of a business to achieve its objectives. And that product managers support the creation of an overall business strategy 
and they help develop and lead development of a product group strategy. And that, that there are five elements of strategy, so the arenas, the vehicles, the differentiators, the staging and pacing, and economic logic. And that strategy is fed by the market intelligence work that as product managers we do, and it forms the foundation for much of the product management work around new product development, growth plans, pricing, and obsolescence. All right, so that's it for strategy. Our next lecture is on road mapping, and I look forward to talking to you then.